Hello and welcome to Simple or Difficult. In this week's tutorial, we'll be creating a contest for our project in Revit. I will show you how easy it is to add site and topography in Revit. I will also show you how to modify the topo surface and add building parts. Then finally, I will show you how to give the topo surface some depth. For us to be able to create contests for our project, we'll be using the topo surface tool to add a site. But before we add the site, first of all, we want to open a site plan view so the topo surface will be visible once we create it. Visibility is turned off for topographic category in the standard floor plan views. Alright, moving on. The topo surface tool is located on the massing and site tab of the ribbon. This tool is model. What do I mean by that? In Revit, model tools are those tools that when selected, the ribbon displays a contextual tab providing the tools you need to create and edit the topo surface. And to exit this mode, you must click either finish surface or cancel surface. We are going to create the topo surface by using the place point tool to place points in the side plan. This point represents spot elevation. The topo surface geometry is automatically generated using this point. Okay, let me just say that a topo surface can also be created from imported CAD files that include 3D contour information or from point files which can be generated by certain civil design applications. So on the options bar for elevation, let's enter 1200 millimeter. A spot elevation of 1200 millimeter will now be established at each location where we click to place a point. Okay, let's go ahead and place the other points, changing the elevation values on the options bar as we go. As we place the point, the topo surface is generated and the contours are displayed. Let's go to the 3D view so we can see the sloping topo surface. Alright, now we are going to modify the topo surface so we can define the footprint of the building model. To do this, we will place a building pad in the model. When we do that, you will see how the topo surface will react to the position of the pad element. Alright, click on the building pad tool, which is also model like the topo surface tool. Okay, so the way this tool works is a closed loop sketch of line that indicates the extent of the pad must be completed to generate the pad element okay if the lines are open on one end we won't be able to finish the building pad and exit the edit mode however we can cancel the edit mode to which revit would confirm whether we really want to discard the sketches already done to which we will say yes or no depending on what we want to do so back to our building pad One way we can make this easier for us is by using the pick wall tool. Hit the tab key to pick the walls already modeled in the project and then click once to make the sketch. Alright, mind you, this can also be done on the plan view. Okay, let's go to the ground floor plan. We need to make sure the sketch lines of the pad are properly cleaned out and that they are on the inside face of the wall. In situations where the sketch lines are on the outside, we use the align tool on the modifying tab to align the sketches on the opposite side of the picked element like so. When the sketch is completed, click the finish edit mode check mark to complete the pad and exit the sketch mode. Let's go back to the 3D view mode. Okay. All right, so now we want to give the topo surface some depth. Okay, to do that, we use a section box in the 3D view. Let's go ahead and click an empty part of the drawing area to select the view. Then on the properties palette, under extent, we are going to select the section box option. Let's go ahead and select the section box in the 3D view. Now we want to move its shape handles so we intercept the edge 
of the topo surface on all sides with the edge of the section box. We might want to adjust the top of the section box like so, so that when the roof is placed on the model, it will not be cut. With the section box still selected, right click and select the hiding view option to make the edges of the section box not visible in the view. Alright, to change the material, we can change the material of the topo surface by selecting it and clicking the value of the materials parameter on the properties palette. In the materials dialog, a grass material is then selected for the appearance. Finally, on the view control bar, we can apply a shaded visual style to the view to get an idea of what the building will look like. Alright, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Not only that, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.